Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about a word called mission. Have you heard the word mission? What does it mean? Now if you've watched movie or if you've seen people uh, in military, you will hear them referring to this word mission. There was a mission I had to do. There was a mission I was a part of. What does it mean? So mission is a task or a job that's assigned to someone and or is some work that will help others or it to for a bigger cause so it may be a, a christian mission that helps to serve jesus's mission and make a difference or it can be another kind of mission that helps other people and so there can be different kinds of mission but do you know that we all have a mission that is assigned to each one of us yes we do so let's see what that mission is and we are going to find out by reading from our bibles today we are going to read from the book of genesis so that's the first book in the bible genesis chapter 1 verses 27 to 31 right so if you can all get your bibles out and turn to genesis chapter 1 verses 27 to 31 right and i am going to start reading from there and let's see what it says right so man created god uh, god created man in his own likeness he created him in the likeness of god he created them as male and female god blessed them he said to them have children and increase your numbers fill the earth and bring it under your control rule over the fish in the waters and the birds of the air rule over every living creature that moves on the ground Then God said, "I am giving you every plant on the face of the whole earth that bears its own seeds. I am giving you every tree that has fruit with seeds in it. All of them will be given to you for food. I am giving you every green plant of all the land animals and the birds of the air for food. I am giving you the plants of to all the creatures that move on the ground. I am giving them to every living thing that breathes." and that's exactly what happened god saw everything he had made and it was very good there was evening and there was morning it was day 6 right now we can see in this reading that it says that humans are expected to rule over the animals and also use the plants for food so we're getting a little hint at okay, what to what this mission is Now today the 5th of June is also a very special day. Do you know what it's called? It's called World Environment Day. And I think it's a great day and a great way for us to be thankful to God for the goodness of his creation. What do we need to be thankful for? For so many things. So it's hard to focus on a few. For the forests, for clear waters that flow from the mountains right down the birds the whales the shrubs and the flowers that you see around us the variety of human life and yes even for sun and rain even though we complain about it we need all of that for all that we have and what we have around us we need to give god thanks right god created the heaven and the earth and he said it was very good and even though we believe that man is a special god a creation of god we are also part of his creation and we are placed here by god right so creation belongs to god the land the water the animals the air everything is god's but now god has given us humans a mission so what is this mission so we saw in genesis when god puts man in the garden he says till it and keep it till means to make use of the earth right So we have the right to till the earth to make it fruitful so that we can get food or whatever we need from the earth. So does that mean that you just keep on doing that and then forget about it? No. It also says that we need to keep it. It means we need to protect it. The earth is not something that you and I can use and then forget about it. We need to make sure that our generations and generations after us can also continue to use it, right? Sadly, however, we haven't done a very good job of protecting the earth right you heard about the pollution and because of development and because of all the things that sometimes we use 
we have added to destruction of the planet so we haven't really done our mission properly right and sometimes when we think about it we think oh this is not a job for me this is a job for like big governments and businesses but as a christian all of us have a mission to look after the earth and today being world environment day i'm going to show you a little video which highlights the theme that has been designed for this year 2023 so let's watch and see what the theme is okay Seasons. Every tree has a reason. Everyone needs healing. I'll be right there for you. From the lake, you will feed me. You give me air, keep me breathing, baby. I'll never leave you alone. Now I saw in that video, what were they talking about? Plastic, right? So plastic is a big problem in the world today. And I'm sure plastic is something that we all use in our houses, right? I'm sure if you just look around you like this, you'll be able to spot at least two or three things that are made out of plastic. Which means that all of us can do something to make this problem better, right? So when it comes to protecting our earth, there are three things that you need to remember. The good part about having to remember it is that it also starts with re, the same as remember. Reuse, reduce and recycle, right? So we live in a culture today where everything is throw away. You use it, you throw it. You use it, you throw it. You drink a packet of milk, throw the milk packet. You drink a cup or eat a cup of yogurt, throw it, right? So most of the things we use are made to use and throw. Do you know that Sri Lanka as a country generates 7,000 tons of waste every day? 7,000 tons every single day. And the worst part of that is that 60% of what we throw is actually recyclable. So when we buy something, we must always try and see, can I use it again instead of throwing it? It may be made out of plastic. But can I do something else with it? Right? If we really have to throw it, then we must try and reduce buying. So if the yogurt cup is something that we are buying and eating every day, instead of buying little little cups for every day, can we buy one big container so that we throw away less? So whenever you want, you just take out a few spoons and put it into another bowl and eat it. So you don't have to throw away the little cup every day. Right? So those are the little things that we can do at our level. And sometimes before we need to throw something, think whether it can be reused for something else. Instead of easy using uh, paper towels or paper serviettes in the kitchen, can we just take some old clothes or bed sheets and cut them into little pieces so we can wash and keep using them again and again. Right? So those are little things that we can do. Water bottles. Sometimes we use a lot of plastic water bottles. Can we not throw and keep using the same bottle as much as we can? When we go shopping to the supermarket or to the shop or wherever, can we take our own bag and go so that we don't have to bring home the city city bag, right? So those are little things that we can do at our level because this mission that God has given us is for all of us, right? And this mission is for us to look after this earth we need to be very serious about getting this mission done, right? Because it's something that God created and he's given us the responsibility of looking after it. So today, let's try and see what are the few things that we can do at our levels, right? At our homes, 
things we can do in our church how can we reduce electricity when there are fans and lights that are on that don't need to be on can we switch them off in church can we use less paper and try not to take too many photocopies or printouts can we grow more plants or vegetables if we have room in our church gardens little things that we can do but they all make a difference right so let's think of some things that we can do at our level to make this world a better place and protect the earth because that's our mission right shall we bow our heads in prayer dear lord jesus we thank you lord for this occasion that you give us where we are able to remember your beautiful creation and give you thanks thank you lord for having placed each one of these beautiful things around us for our pleasure and for our consumption lord we pray that each of us will take your mission seriously and look to protect the earth so that we are able to leave it in a better place help us lord to take little steps because these little steps will all count towards making this earth a cleaner place we ask all this in jesus precious name amen thank you and i hope you have a good environment day god bless and i'll see you next time